Well, howdy, this is Tommy at Alderman Farms, and I am itching to get my swarm trap uh, placed in a tree. Things are budding. I'm seeing carpenter bees, uh, bumblebees. Hadn't seen a honeybee yet, but maybe I just hadn't been looking. They're out there because flowers are just blooming all over the place. But before I can set my trap out, I got to get it ready. And one of the first things I have to do is to take these frames, these deep layings frames, and install this foundation that smells amazing. Now, I got both of these from uh, Dr. Leo Sharashkin's website, horizontalhive.com. And uh, in the paperwork that came with it, he described a method of uh, attaching the foundation to the frames using a car battery, uh, clipping, you know, uh, a connection here and a connection here uh, to heat up the wire. And he said, you got to watch it real close because it's pretty fast. And the wires heat up and the sheet just kind of melts down on it. Well, I don't... I don't want to do that uh, outside, I, you know, because I don't want to risk getting a little junky stuff. I want to keep the uh, I want to keep the wax foundation clean, and so I was googling around looking for. Uh, I wanted to see somebody do it like that, and I stumbled on a man by the name of Thomas McGuire, and I'm going to put a link to his video in the description of this video. Thomas McGuire, and this man is a genius, and he took instead of a car battery. He took an old laptop charger uh, that, you know, reduces the power coming out of the wall down to like 19 volts or something like that, uh, clipped the ends off and used alligator clips um, and connected them to the frame. And, and it takes a little bit longer, which I'm glad. It's a little slower to heat up the wire and watch the wax melt down on it, uh, but just absolutely brilliant. So guess what I got? So it took me a while to find one, digging around in drawers and in underneath the seats of my truck, <laughs> which is actually where I found this one. Uh, but it, it pushes like, I think, 17 to 19 volts or something like that. So I cut the end of it off. Now, uh, it got some uh, alligator clip testing leads today from Walmart. I got this pair of them for $1.97. Um, now, these are not insulated. The alligator clip heads are not insulated. So I, I don't want to get shocked even with a little bit like that, I, I guess. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm scared of electricity. So I'm just manning the plug, which is why I'm doing this down here on the floor. I couldn't find my power, uh, my surge protector, or I could set this up on the table and, uh, and do it. And, uh, and just turn it, you know, turn the power, uh, the uh, surge protector on and off. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, down here manning the plug and just pull it out when it's ready. So I've got each one of these clips onto one of the wire. You know, when I cut the wire, stripped them off a little bit. So I got an alligator clip there, an alligator clip here, and they are clipped on to the wire. Uh, this is not done with fishing wire; it's done with metal wire. So I've got an alligator clip there and an alligator clip here. I've got the foundation, you know, pretty much centered uh, horizontally, and I've got it pushed up against the top bar. And I want you to notice something. I've got it elevated. Why is that? Because when those wires heat up, um, the, the wax foundation is going to get slippery as it begins to melt a little bit. So I want it to have downward force going toward the top bar uh, and not slip away from up there. Let's give it a go, what do you think? All right, I've got the camera zoomed in really closely, tightly on the wax, because I want you to be able to see when the wire starts poking through, um, when you, you'll be able to start see, you'll be able to start seeing the wire um, as it as it melts its way through. Ready? I'm plugging it in now. So the wire is heating up nice and slowly. 
I don't know if you can see it, but I'm starting to be able to see um, a dark spot where the wire is becoming visible. But in a moment, you'll see it. Ah, it's poking through in some spots. Look at there. I've already done one of these. I want to wait just a little bit longer on this one. Uh, I think that's going to be about it. One frame with the foundation attached to the wire. I can see the wire from both sides. Um, it's uh, a little bit more through on one side than the other. Some of the wires look like they heated up a little more than some of the others, but that's it's on there pretty pretty well, and so it's only my second one. So with practice, I think it's gonna get a little bit uh, better, and I'll be able to judge um, when is uh, just enough time versus too much time. Uh, you'll know if it's too much time because the thing will just fall out. Uh, but I'm really excited. So the, the Swarm Trap is a seven frame box. So I've got two done. That means I've only got five more. And then I can uh, coat the inside of the box with propolis and uh, bait it with some lemongrass uh, uh, extract oil and hang that sucker in a tree. Thanks again to Mr. McGuire for showing me his ingenious way um, to electrify or heat these wires um, to, to mount the foundation. So please go to his channel, give him a subscription, comment on this video about how brilliant he is and uh, how many people he's going to be helping uh, through, via him, his direct efforts through me then as we get the word out because it, it really works. Well, it takes a little longer, I imagine, than it would if, if you were using uh, the leads off of a car battery, but um, I don't know, maybe not. I'm not an electrician. It may take the exact same amount of time. So anyway, if you found this helpful, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you found it aggravating, give us a thumbs down. Truth in advertising, right? Hey, life on the farm just got real, and thumbs downs are real, so we'll take them. Uh, leave us comments down below if you're not subscribed. Please do so. Uh, our bee adventure is close to getting underway. It's much closer today than it was uh, yesterday. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.